Well, hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo, and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled, Tobacco Statistics. Well, okay, let's decide it once and for all. Tobacco use, sinful or not? If it isn't, well, we'll leave well enough alone, and if it is, then all the Christians who use it, well, you need to stop. Now, I suppose I'm not the best one to mount a defense for tobacco use, but in all honesty, there are only two positive things I can think of to support the use of tobacco products. One is the enjoyment experienced by those who use tobacco, and the other is the profit made by those who grow, manufacture, market, and distribute this product. Perhaps there are spin-off benefits to lawyers and charitable institutions supported by the tobacco industry, but any other advantage created by tobacco use is, is beyond me. Now this blog is limited to about 400 words, so I'll have to list the negatives in the briefest of terms. Of all the arguments against tobacco use, these are the strongest, but certainly not the only ones. Number one, the pain far outweighs the pleasure. Roughly every 1.5 seconds, an American dies because of tobacco. Insurmountable medical evidence proves that the 19 identifiable poisons contained in tobacco bring untold harm to the human body. Pleasure is not bad in itself, but when what we do for pleasure poses such a great and unnecessary threat to our bodies, that pleasure becomes immoral. Number two, the profit does not cover the loss. The profits made by the farmers and others who produce this product do not justify the human misery and financial cost of treating the illnesses that it causes. Our nation as a whole would be healthier and more prosperous if this product would be discontinued. And number three, tobacco cannot witness Christ. You know, the litmus test for Christians in all things is whether or not what we say or do can be used to promote our faith and honor our Lord Jesus Christ. If the majority of non-Christians agree that tobacco is a curse on society, how can Christians ever use, or worse still, defend its use? So let's add it up. Tobacco poisons the body. Uh, it has negative social value and is considered evil even by worldly standards. Sounds like sin to me. It seems that in the face of such evidence, Christians who persist in the habit have a greater problem with sin than with simple tobacco. So repent, brethren, before you become another tobacco statistic. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo, and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.